Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to do a whiteout effect, which just means to take out the uh, background of the actual um, vector image that I'm using here. I've seen a tutorial on this, and what you want to end up doing, I mean, there's several ways that you can do this. You can use the eraser tool, background eraser tool, or even the magic eraser tool. But the best way that I've found to actually go ahead and do this is to create an action. Now, I'm not going to be doing that myself today because I've already got that created, but I will show you how to uh, go ahead and create this um, type of thing here. So, what you actually want to go ahead and do is go up to image mode and hit grayscale and you can flatten or not flatten. I chose not to flatten this time. And then discard that information. And then you go back up to image mode, or excuse me, image size, and then select 900 DPI so you can get tons of uh, information from that photo. And then you go back up to image and select mode and then bitmap now you can go ahead and flatten it at this point in time and then you want to use a dif uh, diffusion dither on this and that way it only leaves uh, black and white on the uh, page here so go ahead and select OK and then you go back up to image you go to mode and you select the uh, grayscale again. You want to have the size ratio at 1. Select OK. And then go ahead and go to select. Color range. Now you want to go ahead and use the eyedropper tool. And then select the white. Hit OK. And then once you do that, you can see all the white has been selected on this particular vector art. And then you make a copy of the background <clears throat> in case you mess up. Excuse me there. And then turn the background layer off. And then hit the delete button. Once you hit the delete button here, that's going to make the whole image transparent and all the white is completely gone. So you can actually do some really cool color effects. This is primarily used for like t-shirts and stuff. Um, you want to go ahead and deselect the image and then go to filter and then select blur and then Gaussian blur. Now you want it set at about two pixels. Once you do that, <clears throat> you can go ahead and use this on, you know, t-shirts or cards or whatever you want to. And then, like I said earlier, you really want to set up what's called an action on this. So that way, you don't have to continually do this on every single time. You just go up here. Um, actually, let me show you this. I'm going to go ahead and create a new document here. And then once we do that, I'll go ahead and go back to the website that I got the image from. And then put it in here and you want to hit control T for free transform blow up the image and then once we do that hit OK now you can see that it has a white background go here to the whiteout and then click play and continue and then flatten it as you can tell, it's running through all those steps that we just created on an action. And that's why I say to create the action, so that way you don't have to do this every single time. Go ahead and hit the uh, new file here for you, and I'll show you what it actually does. You want to go ahead and go back, and then go up to image and resize it to 300 dpi. Now, I went ahead and uh, fit it to screen, but I'm changing it to 300 dpi here. 
All right, and then you want to just go ahead and click on the background copy, drag it over to your new document, and let go. And there you go. You got your uh, vector art without any background. It's completely transparent. Go ahead and hold Control if you got a you know the eraser selected like I do. And then what you can do is go ahead and hit B for brush or select the brush tool. You want to create a new layer on the new document and put it underneath your background copy. Select any color that you want to. And I'm just selecting a different brush here for us. And I'm going to use a soft brush. And lower. Well, just go ahead and give it a different size. Go up to the bow tie. And as you can tell, it's just capturing the yellow. And then you can go ahead and go to any part of the vector art and color it in with your own colors. Make your own color effects. It's actually a really, really cool thing to do. So, um, I did not come up with this. Again, I'm going to tell you, this is just something that I've seen on YouTube and I could not find. So, I figured I would put it back out there for everybody because I know that getting rid of a white background is a pain in the ass. Um, but this is the easiest method that I've found. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Send me an email or give me a comment. If you have anything uh, that you would like to tell me, just shoot me an email. Love to hear it.